Hi everyone, it's Marianne the Penguin Girl and today I'm going to do a deep dive into the fourth artwork that you guys have chosen as your favourite. So there were two that were tied in the first place and this here is the second one. So this illustration is of a medieval castle um, that is located in Sessis, Latvia, where I spent five weeks during an artist residency. So let's take a closer look at this illustration. So this illustration is called Sessis Family, uh, firstly because that is Sessis Castle in the background, and secondly because these penguins here are inspired by the artists themselves that I spent these five weeks at this residency together with. So first here is um, Christine. She's from Canada and what she does, what she did during this residency was used, um, she used magnets to collect uh, meteorites um, and to try to make ink out of them. So I don't think she had enough to make ink from them, um, but it was a very fun and interesting process to observe her work and to even participate in helping her to try and collect some of these meteorites. Uh, this one who is drawing down here, he's actually a comic artist from Siberia um, and he's always drawing all the time. So he has this little sketchbook and a pencil with him at all times and um, every time we hang out at some point that pencil and sketchbook would come out and he would start drawing. This photographer is Sarah from Australia. She worked on a project in Sassis um, studying something about tourism because Sassis is a town that is two hours from Riga by train so it is very easy for tourists to take day trips out to Sassis um, to see the castle and then they would return back to Riga after that. This one here is interesting. Um, this is Andri and the reason why he has a question mark over his face has to do with his project that he was working on during this residency, which I will show you some photos of later because it'll be easier to explain then. Um, there are two. There were two uh, performance artists slash dancers in this uh, residency. So one of them is Elizabeth from Iceland, and the other is from was it Argentina, I think. <laughs> Um, and then here there is a pianist and composer from the US um, and of course that is me in the corner there painting the entire scene and um, um, this artist up here she wasn't one of the artists in the residency program but she was hired by the program to come and take care of us and to support us in our projects but she herself is also an artist um, and so that's why she is up there taking a photo of everyone because that was kind of her job in a way to like update the social media account for the residency as well. Yep, so as you can see up here, there's a black cat, but this is not because of the black cat that I met in Bansko because this was before. Um, I just have a really soft spot for black cats ever since I encountered them. Well, ever since I lived with a Spanish family for a month in 2018 and they had two black cats and after that I was just sold on black cats. Here in 2019, I attended five artist residencies back to back, pretty much, and um, it allowed me to paint six dream tree murals in four countries. So this residency in Sassis, it was the very first one that I attended last year. And because of that, um, that was how the third dream tree mural came about. And what was also special about this residency is that uh, it's, uh, it's located in this 100-year-old house in the middle of the park. So it's almost like an adventure, just leaving the place to go into town to buy groceries and then coming back. It's like going into this mysterious park, um, into this mysterious house in the middle of the park that looks like a forest. Yeah, so that really adds a lot to my imagination um, as I was living in this place. And the other thing I really enjoyed was that um, all of us artists stayed together in the same house. Um, so we each had our own bedrooms, but we shared everything else like the bathrooms, the kitchen, the common areas. So to me, that was a real experience of... Um, living with a community of artists and it was the first time that I really had that kind of experience. Um, at the same time also, you know, we were, even though we were from different countries and we were quite different in terms of our personalities, we, um, most of us, you know, were 
made an effort to just hang out together and go and do things together. So this residency was also really eye-opening for me in terms of defining, you know, what makes an artist. So I didn't feel like I was a fine artist, but yet at the same time, I'm, I'm also not like a commercial illustrator. So for the longest time, I couldn't figure out where I fit in. And at that point in time too, you know, having only had done two dream trees at that up to that point, and I wasn't even sure if there was going to be a third one, I felt even more... Um, unsure of myself as an artist and so when I was living with these you know seven or eight other artists who to me were like so legit I just felt so inadequate and I felt like a fraud when I was around them but interacting with them and seeing what their work was about it expanded my view on what art is and and of what art could be and it's really up to us to define how we see it so one of the interesting things that I saw was Andre's project. So what he did was he went on these um, gay dating apps and he would take screenshots of gay men um, who had covered their faces, usually with some sort of like emoji or something, um, so that you know they hide their real identity. So it was this whole project ex exploring the the notion of like self and identity and something like that okay I'm not gonna go too much into it but I was very intrigued by that because you know his art wasn't exactly about making something it was just taking a bunch of screenshots and like you know going on the dating apps and swiping um, and then at the same time Christine who was there to collect meteorites um, hopefully to be able to collect enough to make ink from them well micro meteorites because they were like uber microscopic like she had this digital microscope to actually look for them in the dirt that she collected so there was one day where Gosha the comics artist and I we went with Christine to the rooftop of the local conservatory to and we used magnets to sift through the dirt um, and collect everything that was magnetic so that she could bring it back and sift through it to find these meteorites um, and what was interesting that I learned from Christine was that you know like, art doesn't even need to be a final product. That a lot of times it was about the process and about the practice of it and about the, the search for something. That because she was passionate about this idea and it just took over her and she went all out trying to make something happen of it. And, and to her, it's like, even if she didn't collect enough micrometeorites to make ink from it, it's okay. She'll find some other use for that, which she did in the end because she didn't get enough to make ink. Um, so it was really interesting for me to see these other artists' works because, you know, I realized that I was the one that was putting myself in this box and saying that, you know, I'm not legit enough as an artist. And it helped after that, of course, you know, when I painted my dream tree mural and I started to feel more certain of myself again and having a clearer path in terms of painting these dream trees. Um, so subsequent residencies, I didn't feel as uncertain of myself after that. Yeah. So this time that I spent in Sassis with these artists, um, I really felt like we were this community and this family together for those five weeks, um, even though the time that we shared was not very long. And um, I don't know if I would ever see them again, but it's more like, you know, in these five weeks that we had together, we were like this family. You know, and it's like this ideal community of creative people, like-minded creative people. Um, who can exchange ideas and, you know, support each other in the creation of our works. Um, there was some collaboration between some, some of the artists as well for the exhibition that they did in the residency. Um, yeah, and then we hang out together. We went to Riga a couple of times together and explored the city together. And it was just a really nice time to hang out with like-minded people. Um, and not just, you know, like-minded people who are artists, but artists from other places around the world meeting in this one place. And also, in a way, because it doesn't last forever, it's only for five weeks, um, all the more it becomes important, you know, as I go on this journey or as we go on our journey of living our dreams to stay present in the moment and to fully experience um, all of it and everything that it has to offer.